All right, what's up, everyone? Hopefully this is working. I didn't actually get to check my mic before we get started, um, but it seems like everything's working. Got signal, got music playing, just so it's not quiet and dull in the background while I talk and ramble on and struggle through coding. So that's the fun stuff. That's what we get to do tonight. So I have a long list of things that I want to get done. It's been probably a little bit over a week since I streamed last, so got a nice little to-do list that I've been thinking about I want to get started on it, so I won't spend too much time here thinking through what I'm going to do. We're just going to jump in and do it because here uh, we just have a couple of things. So the first thing I want to do is this was something that I did when I had, I think it was Payload 2, I think it was version 2, where I was able to, since it was hosted on a different like server, I was able to query my... API to get the icons that I needed for the uh, like the logo here. And so if I go to my global settings, I should have some logos in here. Yeah, I've got like the square logo that would be perfect right here. Um, and then the landscape logo too, which I could use in my log, login, log out, whatever. And so I want to take a look and see if I'm able to do that. So we need to go into our config, which is not open. So let's go down. So we're gonna need this components folder here in a second, but here's the real thing here. All right, so this is plugins. We don't want that. All right, then we got our globals. So I'm looking for this here. So what we're going to do is, this is gonna break stuff. So let me um, end the server session there. And what we're going to do is include our own logo and icon uh, custom component. And we'll see if these actually exist right now. So source graphics, they do. So what I'm gonna do is actually move these into component. So let's move these up to components, refactor, and do components, which I don't even think I need source. We'll see here in a second. So then we have our icon, we'll start there. Now this is what I really wanted to figure out. Can I get what I need for the icon here? And so that means I need to undo that. Probably need both of these. Those are other icons for another client. So let's stick with this one here. And then I think I only have the one icon here. And so we'll leave this return statement as it is because that's for like how I would actually render it if this doesn't work. So we can just do a return um, and then we can just do image source alt, which I don't need that. So and then we can do, what does it need to be? Width then height. And this is not gonna be an image object because I don't need the schema to be rendered on the front end here. So for source, we'll just do icon URL, then alt should be globals dot, dang it, man. All right, so let's just do, um, so const light mode icon, set that equal to uh, globals dot logos dot square logo dot file name. It may actually infer the type properly. Oh wait, here, as media. So we're gonna import our media from types and then here I should be able to do light mode icon dot alt description. And then we can do the same thing here where we'll do light mode icon dot width and dot height. And so we'll set some defaults, 640 width. I don't think I need that to be a string. So we'll set this to be 360. And then this needs a string to fall back on. All right. so. Now we can come here to our payload config. We're working with the icon right now. So let's turn logo off, save this, and then let's just open this up and see what happens. I can't imagine that this is going to work because I'm trying to pull from the API in like a root component that is in the config. So let's take a look here. Uh, do I need to do payload generate import map? Okay, so that's promising. I still feel like this isn't gonna work. We're still going for it. Okay, so we do source components icon. And then I think I need to rerun our generate import map. And so with this, we won't spend too much time trying to figure this out because again, I don't think it's going to work. But this is just 
on the off chance that some things changed from the last time I tried to do this with Payload 3. Oh, hey -oh it works. All right, so it's really hard for, I'm sure, you guys to see since this is dark mode with a dark icon. I wonder, though, do I have a light mode version of this? And so I'm going to take a look real quick. Um, I'm actually really surprised that this works, so I did not have a light mode or a dark mode icon ready to go. I do have an all white one. Perfect. So we'll go to our global settings and we'll come down here to dark mode square we're going to create new where i'm going to do that and this is going to be mid low mark light mode oh dark mode icon uh the dark mode version of the mid low mark logo all right and so I didn't create this. One of my good friends did. So I am going to credit him on this. Um, we can actually just do, see. So if you need some design work, this is the guy. Um, if I can remember his URL. I wanna make sure that I put this in here. Eh, I'll do his LinkedIn because I can't find his actual website, but that's all right. So there's that, we can hit save. And now what we'll do for the icon is we'll wanna take out our const dark mode icon so logos and then I think I can do um, so square logo dot so it should be dark mode square and then here I believe we would set it here so instead of that source we could just do, so this is the light mode version. So this should be the primary version. And then we've got dark mode square, width, height, and then source set should just be dark mode icon dot file name. So we need all of this here first. And so what I'm trying to do, oops, uh, is get the dark mode version working here. So it should be dark mode square. All right, let's see what happens. So if we inspect and then we can go to our prefers color scheme dark. Okay, so that's not working like I want it to. Let's do a hard refresh. All right, so what we want to do then instead is get the image to choose between dark mode and light mode. What happens if I do, because on image there's no media? Yeah, there's no media. I didn't think so. So what happens if I just, remove this let's see if we can at least get the icon working so no it doesn't quite work this way is there a way to just do source instead of source set we can see it does not appear so so then what we'll want to do is do image here and then this needs also the alt which is going to be globals alt description all right so it's showing up there then the issue becomes, how do I get it to show up only in dark mode? What we'll need to do then is find a way to have um, something hidden or shown on dark mode. So, and I know I've done this on the front end before, so maybe it's there. It should be on layout, it should be up here. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Don't need that. So it would be in the app. There we go. Layout. So here, oh, it's link. Okay. So that's not quite what I'm looking for. All right. So if we go back to our, it was not those components. It is under our blocks, collections, components here. All right. So our icon is what we're working with. This should be working. So source, oh, source set. Let's change it again. Try this. And then if this doesn't work, we'll just do a dark mode icon since we're on dark mode and then we'll move on from there. Picture, source set. All right, so I think there might be something going on with how it's trying to do the title. So let's change the, t uh, yeah, the file name, um, media. So let's change the file name here, save. All right, and then we'll see what we have now. Picture, all right, let's just move on. So we're going to use this. And since I didn't expect this to work, we will come back to this. Dark icon URL. All right. And then we can do, all right. So if I save that, we should get our icon there. There it is. All right. So that means we don't need this anymore. And then we're going to change our logo. So this clearly worked before. 
but that's fine. So let's just uncomment all of this. Don't need this. So then we'll do uh, dark mode icon and then light mode icon. So this is gonna be globals dot logos square landscape logo and then i can do as media so now get rid of these and then we're going to return an image which is going to have a width and a height as well let's close this to have a little bit more screen space and so we'll use the dark mode icon oh wait dark icon url and then we can do dark mode icon dot alt description and then i don't feel like trying to fix the screen size so then we'll do dark mode icon dot width and then a height do the same thing all right and so this one's going to be harder to see two reasons first i need to go here to my payload config to reactivate that and then do our source components logo and then i need to turn off auto login with our very secure password Oh, so I need to first for logo, since that can be undefined, that's a problem. So here we can do that, all description. All right, so these all need to be, and this makes sense. I need to make sure that these are able to be overwritten. There we go. So problem is I did not upload a dark mode landscape icon. And so in here, then we need our dark mode landscape which i can do uh, so not choose from existing we'll create new and then i'm going to pull this one in so we'll do i mean this honestly so then primary inverse logo credit this is the same person save all right and let's see what this is since this is supposed to be light mode we should change this one as well and we'll do our full color version here and then do this okay and then the same person designed all of this so hit save i don't actually need this open anymore and i wonder i want to see two things the first let's get out of here and then let's save this all right then the second i want to see what if these were reversed so if i had logo like this and then this can be icon oh all right so it gets real tiny so yeah that should be an icon all right well that was fun so now if i go to log out i see the inverse logo there so it looks good on dark mode